Hey, it's Mark from MakeTheMostOfMassage.com. Today I want to talk about sensitivity, having sensitivity with a massage tool. In a previous uh, video, I talked about relaxing your hand and how relaxing your hand can help you uh, feel through the massage tool uh, because you're not tightening up and forcing it. You're just letting your hand relax and using your body weight. Today I want to talk about another aspect of uh, creating sensitivity, having sensitivity with the massage tool. And that is through lighting, uh, adjusting your pressure. So before, years ago, um, I used to think that consistent, persistent, consistent pressure was the most important thing to massage. So maintaining that, that constant pressure, whether it's deep, medium, or light. And then as time went on, I started to realize that it's actually an adjustment sometimes of pressure that not only feels good, but also allows you to find the tight spots, especially with the massage tool, and, and to really fine tune your pressure. So here's an example. So I simply just put a, a uh, tube in here and uh, underneath the sheets. So that's going to be uh, an extreme example of someone with some tight area, right? So I'm taking my massage tool and I come across here. Now, if I just drive with the same pressure, I'm going to be pressing really hard onto this area. But what happens is when I when I hit a tight spot and I'm using my massage tool, I'm gonna to adjust my pressure and lighten up until I feel the total, until I feel the totality of that area that I wanna work. In this case, it's from here to here. So now I can start to adjust my pressure and then apply a pressure as, as almost like I'm test drilling. Like, is this pressure right, you know? And it's not like a choppy kind of uh, pressure. It's a very slow, like, okay, that's, that's the pressure that I'm applying, a greater pressure too. I'm leaning into it. It seems like a little bit too much. I'm going to back off. And that's how I explore that tight area, by adjusting my pressure, by lightening the pressure at times, and by uh, putting a little more pressure in just to explore the area. Now, I used to be very not against that, but like I said, as time went on, I started to realize like what I actually did and what I actually said I was doing were two different things. I was adjusting my pressure as I'm going along and exploring the tight spot by adjusting my pressure, relaxing my hand, and, and exploring it by pressing harder sometimes and then lighter. And again, I'm not doing it in a herky-jerky way. I'm doing it in a very slow, methodical uh, way that's relaxing but also allows me to examine the area and figure out where I want to press harder and where I don't want to press harder and where it is and on all the kinds of things, um, all the components of it. So that's how I would adjust my pressure to explore the tight spot with a massage tool. And again, with the massage tool, you're leaning into the massage tool and that's how you're a little more lean into the massage tool. That means I'm putting more pressure into the massage tool. I just simply shift to the back of my heels if I'm standing. If I'm sitting, I just sort of lean backwards and that adjusts me to a lighter pressure. So pressure, um, a relaxed hand. And then the next video, I'm gonna talk about creating contrast over an area. And those three things are gonna make you very, very uh, adept and sensitive with the massage tool. This is Mark from MakeTheMostOfMassage.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, just send me an email or just put a uh, comment in the um, YouTube uh, response box below. Take care.